So I thought I would do a Minecraft video because my best friend and his adorable daughter have started playing Minecraft again. Oh, I love bunnies. Um, this is Ben. This is a polar bear that I have found living by my house. There's a second one that's around once in a while. I've named her Mary, but I don't know where she is right now. Ben is so cute. I love polar bears. I didn't know the game even had them until I came across him. So because my friend's daughter and him are playing Minecraft, I started a new world and I haven't played in a really long time, so I was blown away when I saw bunnies. Oh, there's another one! Um, I picked this area kind of as a little remote spot. That's my house back there. I felt really lucky that I had picked my house next to some above ground lava, which I'd never experienced before. Um, I feel like that was, oh, buddy! I felt like that was really lucky because then I could pour water onto it and get the nether rock, which is pretty useful. So, and then it also shows up on the map, so it's kind of like a pinpoint location of where my house is. I'm just gonna stare at this a minute, apparently. I'm not sure how to record audio at the same time that I'm playing, so I'm recording this after the fact. Bunny! Bunny, bunny! I love bunnies, sorry. Couldn't help it. So, this is my house, and I made it kind of big. Here's the stairway leading up. Ooh, that's a lot of steps. And here's my house. I built the fence around it because I wanted to, and I thought it looked pretty. So here we go. I couldn't have gotten the wolf, my dog, whatever, to sit there if I wanted him to. That happened by accident, but I think it's really cute, so I left him there. <laughs> and I just need two more bookcases, and I think I'm done with my enchanting station. So that's pretty exciting. I like to organize things and I like to label them, as you can tell. There's my furnaces. Okay, here's the side door. We're gonna go out. I love the jack-o'-lanterns. I also find that fun because it's the end of October right now. So first garden we're coming up on is my pumpkin patch and my melon garden. And here is my wheat garden. This is a basic one. I've done the fancy automatic harvester ones, but I didn't this time. Here is my cactus and sugar sugarcane garden. I thought that one was really pretty. All the moon's going down. That's so pretty. And there's my nether entrance over there. My nether gate, whatever. Nether portal. You can see my house from a distance. And we're coming up on... Oh, the sun's rising. How pretty. And we're coming up on my animal pen. So here are my sheep. I love green ones. They're so cute. There's some chickens. This is a new style pen that I just kind of came up with and I'm really liking it. There's my, to the left, that's my mine, by the way. Because this way nobody can break out when I'm like trying to get in to do stuff with them. There's my cows. I don't wanna kill these, these are my breeding stock. So I need to find leather, but I don't wanna kill them. There's the mine. There's the lava fountains because it helps me also when I wander off to find my house, so. Yeah, I didn't close off the back fence yet because I'm still bringing in animals. Um, they've been spawning at random some horses and llamas out here, and we're coming up on a couple llamas. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I knew they were supposed to go in groups, but this is the first time I've ever seen them in more than twos, so that's pretty cute. I just need to make a lead, um, and I haven't found any slimes to kill yet. I've been... I've never actually played in, oh my phone's ringing, I've never actually played in the mode where the monsters come out until recently, so that was really exciting for me, um, but I haven't come across slimes yet. I've seen a couple witches, so that was exciting, and some zombies, and the skeletons, and some spiders. So that's basically it. I'm going to wrap this up because I gotta do some stuff tonight before bed. Happy Minecraft, everybody. Bye.